Grateful Dead band members who have died. The Grateful Dead, an iconic American rock band known for their improvisational and psychedelic music, have captivated audiences for decades. The band was formed in 1965 in Palo Alto, California. The band was founded by Jerry Garcia, lead guitar, vocals, Bob Weir, rhythm guitar, vocals, Ron Pigpen, McKernan, keyboards, harmonica, vocals, Phil Lesh, bass, vocals, and Bill Kreutzmann, drums. Over the years the group gained a huge fan base across America. The band was named by Rolling Stone on its 2011 list of the 100 Greatest Artists of All Time. The band was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1994. Despite their success, their journey has been marked by both musical triumphs and the heart-wrenching loss of several beloved band members. In this video, we pay tribute to the Grateful Dead members who have passed away, celebrating their contributions to the band's legendary legacy. Ron Pigpen McKernan was a founding member of the Grateful Dead and played a pivotal role in shaping the band's early bluesy sound. As the original keyboardist and harmonica player, his gritty vocals and bluesy keyboard work added a distinctive element to the band's music. Unfortunately, Pigpen struggled with health issues, including alcohol-related problems, throughout his time with the band. On March 8, 1973, at the young age of 27, he passed away due to complications related to alcohol abuse. His death marked the end of an era for the Grateful Dead, as they transitioned to a new phase of their musical journey. Keith Godshow joined the Grateful Dead as their keyboardist in 1971, following Pigpen's departure. His skilled piano and keyboard playing brought a different dimension to the band's sound. Alongside his wife, Donna Jean Godshow, who provided backing vocals, Keith became an integral part of the Grateful Dead's live performances during the 1970s. Tragically, on July 23, 1980, Keith Godshow died in a car accident at the age of 32. His untimely passing left a void in the band and marked the end of his era with the Grateful Dead. Brent Midland joined the Grateful Dead as their keyboardist in 1979, succeeding Keith Godshow. Known for his soulful voice and versatile keyboard skills, Midland added a contemporary rock flair to the band's evolving sound. His contributions can be heard on albums like In the Dark and Built to Last. Sadly, on July 26, 1990, Brent Midland passed away from a drug overdose at the age of 37. His death was a devastating blow to the band and its fans, as he had become an integral part of their live performances and recordings. Jerry Garcia, the iconic lead guitarist and vocalist of the Grateful Dead, made profound contributions to the band's unique musical journey. His intricate guitar work, soulful singing, and improvisational genius were the driving forces behind the Grateful Dead's distinctive sound. Garcia's virtuosity and creativity allowed the band to explore a wide range of musical styles, from psychedelic rock to folk and blues, captivating audiences with their improvisational live performances. His songwriting, including classics like Ripple and Truckin', helped define the band's identity. Garcia died in his room at the Rehabilitation Clinic on August 9, 1995. Though Garcia passed away in 1995, his music and spirit continue to resonate with fans, ensuring his place as a legendary figure in rock history. Robert Hunter made an immense contribution to the Grateful Dead as the band's primary lyricist and a frequent collaborator with Jerry Garcia. He played a crucial role in shaping the band's poetic and evocative lyrics, which became an integral part of the Grateful Dead's iconic songs. Hunter's lyrical talents helped define the band's image and ethos, contributing to their unique fusion of rock, folk, blues, and psychedelic influences. Some of his most famous collaborations with Jerry Garcia include songs like Friend of the Devil, Ripple, and Uncle John's Band. Robert Hunter passed away on September 23, 2019, at the age of 78. His death marked the end of an era for the Grateful Dead community, but his profound impact on the band's legacy and the broader world of music will continue to be celebrated for generations to come. John Perry Barlow was a significant figure in the world of the Grateful Dead, although he was not a musician. Instead, he is best known for his contributions as a lyricist and his role as a co-founder of the Electronic Frontier Foundation, EFF. Barlow collaborated with Grateful Dead guitarist Bob Weir on several songs, providing lyrics that added depth and meaning to the band's music. Some of his most notable Grateful Dead contributions include songs like Cassidy and Estimated Prophet. His lyrical style often reflected themes of love, freedom, and spirituality, aligning with the band's ethos and the counterculture movement of the time. John Perry Barlow passed away on February 7, 2018, at the age of 70. 
His legacy lives on through his contributions to both the Grateful Dead's music and the ongoing fight for online civil liberties and digital privacy. His work with the band and his advocacy for a free and open internet continue to inspire and impact generations of musicians, technologists, and activists. Vince Welnick was a keyboardist and a member of the Grateful Dead from 1990 until the band's dissolution in 1995. His tenure with the Grateful Dead came after the departure of Brent Midland, and he played an essential role during the later years of the band's career. Welnick's contribution to the Grateful Dead included his keyboard skills and his vocal harmonies. He added his unique style to the band's live performances and studio recordings, helping to maintain the band's rich musical tapestry during a period of transition and change. Tragically, Vince Welnick passed away on June 2, 2006, at the age of 55. His death was a result of suicide. The Grateful Dead's journey has been marked by both musical triumphs and the painful loss of cherished band members. The legacy of Ron Pigpen, McKernan, Keith Godshow, and Brent Midland lives on through their music and the enduring impact they had on the band and its devoted fan base. As fans, we remember and honor these departed members, grateful for the music they gave us and the indomitable spirit of the Grateful Dead that continues to shine brightly.